if we're in finals, sword fights back in. My name is Lindsay Schuler. I am the visual designer for the Troopers. So I was actually still marching um, the last time Troopers was in, had made finals. So like I, I remember being on, like in, in the arena and like hearing like, oh, Troopers are back in finals, Troopers are back in finals. So like hearing that again, it was super surreal. So I, that was one of the, like, we wanted to be there to hear that a hundred percent. This is meant to be kind of like, almost like a fake fake out impacts like we turn around and you're expecting like the big grandiose entrance but instead it's just continued a little bit of chaos until really we, we get there um, wanted to have just like a, a big statement like here we are taking up the full field we're not scared of that can't be scared of that um, have a couple folks sitting on the barrels, um, and, and that's, a, uh, that's a part that I really don't think anyone um, ever commented on in terms of judging or anything like that, but we gradually use the barrels more and more throughout the entire show. Unintentional, I suppose. Um, I just liked the way the set looked, but people thought it looked like a mustache, which is a little, little troopers on brand, so we just kind of rolled with it. We nicknamed that the Talon. Uh, and you just kind of lead into those that rifle duet, kind of an exclamation point on the moment. We have another guy on the on the barrel. He's kind of like almost like the supervisor, who's watching everybody else do the work, sort of a vibe. And this part was great too, of it, like tossing the rifles over over the top. Obviously, that's huge risk, huge huge reward. Um, it was, it, that was a really neat moment, and and always was a big applause point throughout the the whole season. Yeah, and this was a really cool part with the guard. Um, they had equipment stored in the barrels from the beginning until that point so the sabers had been in those specific barrels and they pulled them out just for that moment and actually put them back in um, which is always fun to to just make sure the right barrels are in the right places and and all of that but And by this time, um, all of the brass have gold blindfolds over their eyes, um, just showing the, that they're, they're blinded by the, the wealth that they could get from the oil and how much they, they need and want all of that all the time. And, um, we have the trumpet soloist kind of portraying that on the center. That whole like waterfall through process building into this so it took a long time to get right, but I, also one of my favorite parts of the show. This actually was um, all staged in person, so I really wanted to make sure that the build, the wrap around into that, was a certain way, and we got certain folks in certain places that we could get the elastics, expand out. Um, and that we had enough time to do all of this. And, you know, like every good Troopers trail rider, you have to have a sunburst in there. Um, so that, that's really what this was representing, is not only the, that we have all of the oil and it's completely consumed us, but it's also just kind of a tip of the hat to our history, um, including this high mark time. Um, just kind of having that as part of it too that it, like it's a modern trooper show but it, we still are what we've always been yeah 
And that's, that's, I mean, I, unbiased, one of the best moments of the summer, you know, it, it, everyone was on their feet and it was, it was just full buy-in from membership, audience, everybody. It was, it was a really cool moment to see throughout, throughout the season, but really, especially as it, it really was taking shape. It was a fun, fun summer. Definitely had its challenges, but it was a really fun moment.